Hey guys, uh, so one of the things you need to get when you are in Belfast or in Northern Ireland is uh, what we call the Belfast bar. Uh, breakfast roll, similar to what we have in Scotland and we call it morning roll, a right. bun with a few interesting things. Right. It's a breakfast thing. So let's have a look. Hello. Hiya. You do the breakfast bar. The breakfast bar? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, butter, yeah. yeah. And then sauce of that, brown? Uh, brown. Yeah. I think so, thanks. Yeah, that's fine. Can I just. Uh, no, I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, you know, I'm gonna get a bottle of water maybe, yeah. Yeah, still water, yeah. Thank you. Oh, fantastic, thanks. Cheers. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. So I've got my breakfast bab, my breakfast bab, sorry. <laughs> and so I just need to find a quiet place where to consume this thing. Look at this beautiful thing. Let's pack it with sausage and then we have slices of bacon. And what else we have? Oh, we've got an egg. Ah, and quite a lot of brown sauce. So a Belfast pub right in the streets of Belfast. Let's give this thing a try. Oh my god. It's dripping juice everywhere. I think this is the egg yolk. It's absolutely fantastic. Like, um, look how packed with meat this thing is. And I love when the, the egg is cooked to perfection. And it's nice and juicy. Mm. The rushers are very juicy. And the uh, sausage is nice and yummy. Classic British sausage. definitely need this to start your day in Belfast. I think I just paid like £2.80 or something. So definitely a bargain. It's falling apart a little bit, but the bun is doing a good job to sort of all the, the stuff together, so. Mm. So as you cruise around Belfast and Northern Ireland, you're very likely to stumble on this glorious delicacy. It's a stew of meat, obviously. Um, yeah. Usually either lamb or mutton. It's full of also vegetables and stuff. Usually carrots, um, onions, potatoes, obviously. It's a very ancient dish in Northern Ireland. A lot of seasoning in terms of black pepper and salt. The meat is cut in cubes, in very tender cubes. So let's have a look at it. I like the brown color of it. You can immediately see that it's very thick. And this thickness, I suspect it's all, uh, you know, the starchiness of the potato. I don't think there is any, you know, flour or any other kind of thickening agent here. Which is, which is amazing. And it's piping got as it should be. There are carrots, onions. Let's give it a try. I suspect it's gonna burn my lips, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. Mm. Yep, lots of potato starch in there. The flavor of the meat is intense. Seasoned well with, with black pepper. Slightly salty. I think there is some parsley in there as well. So I can grab a piece of meat. Very yummy, especially in a in a very wet uh, Belfast uh, weather. You know, this this will warm you up. The meat is very tender, it melts in your mouth, but it's not overcooked. A state which is difficult to achieve. Uh, some white bread. I don't know if this is soda bread. This may be what they call a farl, like a, a bun of soda bread. I'm going to try to make my own um, sandwich with the stew and this uh, soda bread. I've got the mini sandwich. I've got my Guinness here to chase it. Mm. Yeah, it's really good with this one. The bun is also very soft. I would have expected this dish and the bread to be more salty than one day, but the flavors are very balanced and I should have probably used some of this butter for the bread, but I remember to chase it with some Guinness. This is, this is the dream of a Belfast street food.
lunch. This pub is really cool. The one thing that's really cool about uh, pubs in Belfast is that if you go around and you ask for a menu, they'll probably look at you in a weird way. Because pubs are not restaurants, they don't have a menu. And usually, this is what they have, that's it. Um, sometimes they may have a stew, sometimes they might not even have a stew. If you come here like later on, like around 5 p.m. or something, they will probably have finished this. This is an exclusive dish. I'll get my next half of uh, soda bread with some butter in it and see if there is any difference. I think with a bit of butter is gonna have like a richer flavor. So let's spread some butter in it and let's put some potato and lamb. The best thing is that this stew costed me like five pounds. I think because the because the paint was five pounds, so yeah, just five pounds for this thing. Like salt, uh, salt and vinegar, yeah. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. Okay, um, look what I've got here. This is a uh, an Ulster pasty. It's basically like um, a deep fried patty of minced meat, usually pork, mix it with onions and potato, I think. Yeah, looks like a deep fried burger or something. And it's very, very popular in Northern Ireland, especially in Belfast. And it's usually given as a pasty supper with chips. Um, but yeah, it's very, very heavy. And I've just taken it at this place here behind me, John Long's Fish and Chips, the oldest uh, chippy in Belfast pretty much an institution when it comes to fish and chips or any kind of deep-fried meal uh, Nothing has changed inside this place in 40 years and locals seems to be happy about like it. It's very old style inside you know, the building the decor. I'm just gonna try this pasta now It's very good. Um, yeah, there is minced meat inside, the starch of the potato. You can taste a strong uh, taste of onion inside. Um, yeah, it's kind of pinkish inside. I'm not really sure why. Mmm. Oh. oh yeah, and salt and vinegar on top is mandatory, pretty much. So. The outside is very crunchy and we have got a soft feeling inside of mostly potato I think. Yeah. Hmm. I've heard that this place like makes it the best in Northern Ireland so. Are you any good at phones? Could you tell me who the last phone number is? Uh, I want to know who called the last two phones. Right. Uh, it's not saved. Is that Leslie's? Oh, before Leslie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to call it? Just I do. Just the green. Just the green. Yeah. Your name, Chuck. 